So for my video, I'm going to do the first option about the benefits of a corporation versus a sole proprietorship, general partnership, or limited partnership. I think the biggest things that stood out to me about the corporation and the benefits were the autonomy that the corporation gives to not only itself being that it's re it can be a person, its own separate entity from those in the C-suite, those in the executive uh, the, the board of directors and then also the shareholders themselves. And so we see that with the shareholders are only on the hook. They only have limited liability. So if they buy one share at $100 and the company goes bankrupt, they're only at that $100. They can move away free and easy. They don't have to worry about any lingering charges or any other government organizations coming to them to seize assets, seize their personal funds. It's separate and it's limited and it's only to the level that they feel comfortable investing in the first place. Then we see with the C-suite um, and the executive uh, portion of the company, such as the CEOs, the CFOs, if things go wrong in the corporation, um, they don't face criminal charges. Now that's not to say some of them won't be held accountable, won't be punished by the company internally for things that go wrong. And we kind of see this um, with a lot of the big banks during the financial crisis of 2008 and 2009. Um, you know, Chase Bank or Wells Fargo, um, you know, may have been found guilty, but the company itself was found guilty. Now the company may have chosen, may or may not have chosen to, you know, demote or fire or go separate ways with a certain executive, um, or whatnot, but those executives didn't face criminal charges themselves because the criminal charges were associated and applied to the corporation. And that's, I think, one of the big differences. If you were to own a restaurant and you sell food that, that goes bad, you're on the hook and you're, you can potentially face criminal charges. However, if you're working at a McDonald's or a Wendy's, McDonald's or Wendy's will be the one who will essentially be found guilty so that that criminality the criminal aspect the criminal charges um, are associated with the corporation themselves not the actual um, members of the c-suite and, and so i think that autonomy is a big big uh, aspect that's different and then i also think the ability to raise funds quickly you know corporations can sell stocks they can um, corporations themselves can can incur debt or do all the things that a person like myself or you know one of my classmates can do but the corporation can do it as as its own separate entity and separate person so if those loans default if the company goes bankrupt the ceo is not gonna have to garnish wages or the ceo is not gonna have to come up with that money personally it's it's a matter of the company so that that ability for the company to create money quickly um to quickly acquire wealth, I think is, is a big difference because if you're in a sole proprietorship, you need to go, you know, print out pamphlets, push, push the message of your business, convince investors on an individual basis to invest. And, you know, if you've already gone to everyone in your contacts or gone to everyone in, in your business contacts or, you know, gone to everyone in your Rolodex and you, you're still short money, it's not easy to, to acquire more money. Um, but corporations can, you know, simply release more stock. Um, they can, you know, take out lines of credit on on their own. And so I think that ability to quickly, you know, make almost make money appear quick, quickly find more money is, is a big aspect that that makes corporations stronger. And, you know, I think like there the there's an interesting documentary series uh, called Dirty Money on Netflix. And so we see, you know, kind of highlights a Wells Fargo scandal, a Volkswagen scandal, you know, uh, the HSBC bank, a bit large international bank scandal. And what we see in all of these is the company was found guilty of intentionally, you know, defrauding customers or intentionally lying to stockholders. And what we see is rather than the CEO getting charged, the CEO may have to go, you know, appear before a committee and, you know, try to justify the actions of the company. But the CEO themselves, beyond getting let go by the company with, you know, a pretty generous, um, you know, exit package is not found criminally liable, is not found financially liable. So we see these companies are able to do, you know, things that if you or I were to do, we would be, 
you know, essentially drowning in the debt and the legal process and all the fallout from our actions, whereas the companies are able to accept the guilty plea, pay the fine and continue business as usual. You know, most people who didn't see that show probably would still bank at Wells Fargo with relative confidence. And so I think the the corporation being able to, you know, accept charges of guilt, pay the fine and then move on is a, is a major strength of corporations. So I think corporations overall just have a lot more ability to, there, there's a lot more things you can do. A sole proprietorship and a general partnership or limited partnership is good, but I think that a corporation truly has more options for both the executives within the organization and the shareholders themselves. And the ability for the shareholders to you know, limit their liability Um, Transfer of ownership is easy. You know, people can sell their their shares. Majority stock owners can can you know easily and quickly sell their shares. And it's also you know a a big plus that if the CEO were to die tomorrow, they don't die with all the secrets and with all the knowledge of the organization. The organization is able to live on you know throughout generation, throughout millennium. So I think you know the the corporation is a lot a lot more agile, whereas the sole proprietorship and the general partnership are good, but it's kind of on, on a smaller level and a more localized level. And it's, it's great that we have the, the different abilities, but you know, in, in, in our system, I think the corporation gives both the employees and the shareholders more options and more agility in their, you know, in their financial success and well-being.